Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another weekly reading slash writing and everything else vlog. I'm still currently reading The Hunger Games Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. I'm about 90 pages from the end, I might even finish it tonight, who knows? I will give it a good go. I'll give it a, the old college try. Uh, I'm also currently making mince pies, or attempting to, like little mini vegan mince pies. Here we go. Don't ask, it's on the same chopping board as some chips that I haven't made yet, I'm going to do them in a bit. Look at that, that actually looks alright. It's not very big. So that's a concern. I don't, it's also very hot at the moment. And I don't want to burn my hands trying to eat it, but I also want to eat it. I'm going to try some, hang on, here we go. I've never tried to make mince pies before. And this is, it's not gluten free actually. The recipe was gluten free, but I used regular flour because I didn't have any gluten free flour. But um, yeah, coconut oil, uh, agave nectar, um, apple sauce. Dried fruit, zest and juice of orange, vanilla extract, cinnamon, nutmeg, ground ginger, salt, and then a nice little pie crust. So yeah, like, actually I didn't even put the salt in, so I've been avoiding like sugar and salt and trying to make it healthy-ish. It's quite nice actually though, I'm, I'm down with that. Oh, da -da -da. Hello, it is Tuesday, it is open mic night at the, uh, the Chilton Taps tonight, but I'm not going to go because I can't really be bothered, to be honest. I'm going to um, do a bit more work, a bit more reading, and maybe play some Baldur's Gate in a bit. I might also watch Aliens, because I'm, so I'm currently reading Aliens by Alan Dean Foster, I will be doing a full review. I'm on page, what, 58 of about 250, and it's quite good so far, it's not as good as Alien was. But I think maybe the same holds true with the movies, I don't know. So I'm going to re-watch them, because it's been a while. But I'm trying to determine whether to watch Aliens tonight, or whether to just wait until I've read the book. Because it's the first time reading the book, but then I have already seen the movie, so I don't know. I don't know, man. We'll see how I feel. I've also been doing lots of French conjugating. Trying to conjugate some verbs. That's been alright. Obviously, you could tell I finished reading The Hunger Games as well. And yeah, made some progress with my bedtime books. That's really all I have to report you on, to be honest. Um, I'm going to make some badass noodle salad later with Japanese udon noodles, so that'll be good. I've done a bit of tidying. I need to um, do some laundry and get my hair cut as well. Look at this. It's getting long. But I will do that soon. My god, I'm tired. I didn't realise I was this tired until I started speaking. Things, especially when you have judges who are clearly in biased positions. But then you have the fact that the points don't make sense either. Specifically in the... These are like art, man. So I guess like most of you have probably seen this because obviously Murphy Napier, loads of people watch her, but she's been going through the Harry Potter books and doing like her reviews, which she does love the books. But these, they're like the doesn't make sense videos. My God, there are so many things that she picks up on. It's crazy. She's right. <laughs> it is Wednesday evening. Um, so what's happened today? Well, I had a little bit of a... Oh, it's focusing over there. So I had a bit of a lie-in today, and then it got some work done. All's going pretty well, really, to be honest. Um, just keeping on, keeping on. I actually did some overtime a couple of weeks ago that is just now kind of like paying dividends. So that is very nice, paying dividends. And... Um, yeah, so this evening I met up with Noemi after work just to go for a couple of pints at this place called Headrun here in Wickham. And uh, they, they have like loads of different beers. So they have, I think, 20 different beers on tap and then maybe like 40, 50 different cans. Um, but they also do like a little tasting platter so you can get four different beers and take your pick and choose. So yeah, we had a couple of drinks and some sweet potato fries. And now she's headed off back to hers. I am back at mine, and I've finished reading Aliens by Alan Dean Foster. So I gave this like 3.75 out of 5, it was pretty good. Uh, I want to watch the movie again, I've actually got French subtitles for it as well, because to try and learn some more, and um, yeah, so that should be good. So I'm probably going to watch that tomorrow, because it's kind of late now to do that. But uh, that's to look forward to. And then I have started reading High Rise by J.G. Ballard. Here it is, and um, yeah, Noemi's housemate, Greg, actually gave her a copy of this for her birthday because he thought she'd like it, and she hasn't read it yet, but it's on her, on her side in her house, and uh, so the intro to this is written by Ned Bowman as well, who I want to read at some point too. So one evening I just picked it up and read the intro, and I was like, this sounds amazing. So I've just started reading it now, and I'm eight pages in, and it's already pretty good. I'm already enjoying it. So, uh, yeah. 
Maybe if I enjoy it, maybe she'll read it too. And if not, it doesn't matter because I'll just talk to a housemate and be like, that was really good. Have you have you read that book? And then if he, if he hasn't read that book, then I'll make him read that book. <laughs> okay, so that's where we're at anyway. All right. Yo, it is Thursday. It is currently about 20 to 11 in the evening. Uh, yesterday, I went out with Noemi for a few pints uh, at uh, Headrun, which is really nice. And uh, yes, today I've pretty much just been chilling. I was on the radio earlier. I'll link below to where you can listen to that. Just talking about books and stuff. Finished reading Aliens. It was very good. It was a 3.75 out of 5. In fact, I might watch Aliens, the movie, this evening. And I've got French subtitles for it as well, so that'd be cool. Uh, other than that, I've started reading High Rise by J.G. Ballard. And I'm actually on page 180 of 250. So you could say I've been whizzing through it. I'll probably finish it before bed tonight, to be honest. It's been really good. It's not been quite as good as I expected it to be in terms of the, a lot of the ideas in it just really resonate with me. But uh, yeah, I have enjoyed it a lot. It's probably a 4, 4.25 out of 5, something like that. And uh, yeah, I'll be doing a full review of it. In fact, I'm going to go and film that now. So I think that's all I have to update you on. Au revoir! Hello, it is Saturday, the 30th of November, so my goodness, tomorrow is December. Actually, I've put my tree up. Look at my tree. Look, it looks terrible. It's great. It was a very half-assed half attempt. I don't think it's even flat. I don't know. Yeah, it's like leaning backwards on the wall at the moment. That's fine. So anyway, it is Saturday. Yesterday we went to see... Oh God, what was the band called? I can't remember what the band was called now, but we, we went to see a band anyway, and they were quite good. Uh, they had a violin player, so, and then they did like Devil Went Down to Georgia, so that was cool. Uh, that was at the Bellevue. And then this evening there is a band called... Somebody... Louis and the Shakes are playing at the Mad Squirrel this evening. But basically, like, well, it's quarter past nine at the moment. Noemi went to bed like an hour ago. I couldn't really be bothered to go out. There's also a reggae music at the art center, a reggae night, but I, I just, yeah, I couldn't be bothered. So I'm staying at home, chilling, doing some reading. I might play some Baldur's Gate later. I'm doing a little bit of work, but I'm in that nice place where I don't really need to do overtime for the money. And I don't really have so much work on that I even need to do overtime to survive. But I'm still doing overtime anyway, because I'm me. But, you know, the goal is to like reduce the amount I have to do next week. Oh, and tomorrow, um, tomorrow uh, I've got some radio presenter training in the afternoon at Wickham Sound. And then after that, uh, between 4pm and 8pm, there is a jam at, at the Bellevue again. Um, Noemi's going to, it sounds pretty cool. Well, she's actually not really looking forward to it, but I probably shouldn't say that. No, Amy's going to a like a work lunchy thingy, and I'll be at the training, and then I think we're going to meet each other. And um, Dave, my friend Dave, will probably be out um, to do some music. So that's the Sunday planned. In terms of my reading, I finished reading High Rise by J.G. Ballard. I read it in literally like a day. I thought it was excellent. I gave it like a 4.25 out of 5, so it wasn't like a new 5 star. But he's definitely an author who I'm already now like, I need to read everything he's done. And so then I read these two Ladybird tales. So we have Beauty and the Beast. Uh, these are both by Vera Southgate as well. Uh, obviously, she's like retelling the original tales. Um, and these are part of the Lady Bird books box set, which I got. And yeah, Beauty and the Beast, very famous story, La Belle et la Bette. I want to read that in French at some point. But yeah, cool little telling of it. It's like four star. It's, it's Beauty and the Beast. It's always a good story, you know. And then we have Chicken Licking, which I just gave one of, one of my default like 3.5 out of 5s. Actually, the most interesting part of this was the essay at the end. Because it basically goes like the chicken meets a bird and the bird comes along and they all go along and they all end up in a fox's den and the fox eats them all. Sorry, spoilers. So it says, uh, b -b the classic tale of chicken licking is a much loved story. Also known as Henny Penny, the story of a chick who believes the sky is falling down is featured in books, films and even songs. Walt Disney made two animated films about this intrepid little chick. The first one, released during World War II, was a short animated cartoon. Then in 2005, the studios released a feature-length computer animated film which brought the story to a new generation of children. Chicken Licking is one of several lyrical stories that are often called cumulative or chain tales. The story relies on repetition and rhythmic text to progress, with an extra character adding something new to the story. Ladybird's 1969 retelling by Vera Southgate has helped to keep the tale a firm favourite today. So there we go. 
So yeah, that was pretty good for what it was, you know. And now I am currently reading Just Kids by Patty Smith. So this, I guess, is like her memoir of her and is his name Robert M Mapplethorpe. I actually don't really know who he is, but he's also kind of equally famous as well. Um, and yeah, it's really beautifully written so far. I mean, some of it's really sad. Like she got pregnant at quite a young age and gave the baby away. And like they've been living homeless, like they've been stealing books and stuff so that they've got books to read and stealing art supplies, which is pretty badass, you know. So uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it and looking forward to cracking on with it. I doubt I'll finish it this vlog. I'll probably finish it like Monday evening, maybe Tuesday. Um, but it's a good start. But also actually this evening I might, well I'll at least make some serious progress on um, fucking Persuasion by Jane Austen, which I don't... I don't, I'm not enjoying, but I'm reading it so that I can say I've read Jane Austen book, you know? Um, and then also I'm reading Le, uh, Le Chun de Baskerville. So, the the, the Hound of the Baskervilles. Uh, in French. And yeah, I'm like about a chapter and a half away from the end of that now. So I'm probably going to be doing a video of like French phrases I learned from the Hound of the Baskervilles. But I've also stopped flagging them now because I've just been trying to finish it, I guess. So, reading like a chapter an evening and stuff. Cool, alright. Hello, it is Sunday. It is cold. Um, I'm currently in my living room. I was supposed to be doing radio presenter training today, but I went along and buzzed the buzzer and nobody answered, so I'm back home. Uh, also, my phone died and I haven't charged it yet, but I, even if it hadn't died, I didn't know the number. I could maybe have googled the main number, but then that would have just rang in the office. You know, they would have heard the buzzer, I would have thought. So I don't know, maybe the guy was running late or something. Who knows? Um, but yes, anyway, uh, book-wise, I'm still reading Just Kids, still enjoying it, just got to page 100, so that's very good. I finished reading last night Le Chien de Basqueville, and this is just The Hound of the Baskervilles in French. I mean, I've read it before in English, so it was a reread, I guess, but I enjoyed it, and I feel very accomplished that I finished it. So next up, my bedtime French book is going to be Trois Nouvelles by Edgar Allan Poe, so that'll be good. And I picked up Cinderella as well by Vera Southgate. This is another one of the books in the in the box set. And I don't know, it got me thinking like what would have happened to Cinderella if she was still inside the pump inside the carriage when it turned back into a pumpkin. But my friend reckons that she would have just got covered in pumpkin, which is probably fair. It depends how fast the pumpkin's moving and how heavy it is, you know? Because it that could brain you on, couldn't it? Anyway, later on today, I am going to the Bellevue to, there is a, a jam, so I'm going to play some songs with Dave, and hopefully Noemi is coming as well, she's currently having a, like a dinner with some French people, like the French community dinner kind of thing, and I'm just sitting here watching Booktube as well, and doing a bit of editing, being productive. You know the score, and freezing, because it's cold. Oh, hey Biggie, hey Biggie, Biggie, I've got a song for you, do you know this song? Do you know this song, Biggie? It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Bonsoir, Biggie. Joyeux Noël. Yo, um, yeah, it's the end of the weekend. It was good. Played yesterday. Saw Noemi. That was good. Walked back home. I grabbed some of my stuff actually because I left some of my stuff at hers by accident. And that was about it. Um, went to bed early last night because I got up quite early today. I got up at like 8 a.m., which is early for me. Um, just to try and get into a better sleeping pattern really and I'm trying to smoke at least less slash maybe quit so that's good but um yeah I guess I will love you and leave you for this week's reading vlog and then I can pack in the books no fuck it I'm going to update you on the books I've read so far okay so Mostly, I've been reading some of these little ladybird books by Vera Southgate. So we have Cinderella here, which I probably gave like a 4 out of 5 to. Obviously Cinderella, classic story. And um, it did make me think though, what would have happened to Cinderella if she'd still been in the, uh, the carriage when it turned back into a pumpkin? Like, would she just get covered in pumpkin? Or would actually be hit in the head by pumpkin at high speed? Like, is that lethal? I don't know, but I'd like to know. Uh, we have Dick Whittington, probably a 3.5 out of 5 for me, but what I did find interesting is that there really was a mayor of London called Dick Whittington. The bit about him coming from poverty and stuff probably didn't happen, but um, yeah, decent enough fairy tale, I guess. Okay, then we have Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Uh, this was okay. I'm going to give this like a 3.5 out of 5 as well, I guess, because 
so basically, I really like the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I just don't think this was the best version. It was kind of a little bit oversimplified. We also have this sort of similar thing going on here with Hansel and Gretel, where... But although I'll give this a 3.75 out of 5 because it kind of reminded me of Alice in Wonderland where like it's like two different ideas are happening at once and they're trying to expl explore them both at the same time and it ended up just feeling kind of super psychedelic whereas with the Goldilocks and the Three Bears they kind of explored half an idea in this one um, but obviously I mean the illustrations are beautiful and it's a real, real joy to like go back through and experience all of these stories again um, yeah I, and I kind of, I've been thinking about a lot about fairy tales in general, and I think I've, I've probably said in the past, I, like I might try and track some of these down in French as well, because it's a good way to help me to learn to read French, you know? So, um, it's on my radar, you know? You know? Alright. Speaking of reading French, I also finished reading Le Chien de, de Basqueville. Uh, so, this is The Hound of the Baskervilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, it's all in French. And Malediction, Pass... Une malédiction passe sur celle Baskerville qui habitant le vieux manoir de leur ancêtre perdu à milieu d'une lande sauvage quand un chien démon, une bête immonde, gigantesque, surgit, c'est la mort. Yeah, I, that was sounded pretty good. My French is, is improving. In fact, I have a review for you here somewhere. Where is my review? So I've written a review of it in French. So I'm just going to read my review out and then... You can judge my pronunciation. It's definitely got better than when I did my review in French for um, Fait d'hiver by uh, Anouk Ricard. I'm getting better at the tra Oh, no, don't translate. No, show the original, you dickhead. <laughs> wow. Actually, that... Okay, the translation of it looked pretty good, though. So it looked like it says what I wanted it to say. All right, uh, so... Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Actually, that's pretty close to how the review starts. Alors c'est une autre review en français. J'ai lu ce bouquin car je suis apprendre le français pour parler avec ma petite amie. Je lisais Le Chien de Basqueville en anglais plusieurs fois quand je... Quand je... <laughs> je, lisais, je lisais Le Chien de Basqueville en anglais plusieurs fois quand j'étais plus jeune. Mais je n'ai jamais lu un roman en français. Si, une BD peut-être, peut mais ce livre est mon roman premier dans mon langue deuxième. Il a été une expérience extraordinaire, très difficile, mais enrichissante. J'ai appris beaucoup de mon nouveau, y compris la phrase « En vérité, Watson, vous vous surpassez ». J'ai appris « Malédiction » signifie « curse » en anglais et « bourbier » se fait pour « mire ». Oh, hang on. J'ai appris malédiction signifie j'ai appris malédiction signifie curse en anglais et bourbier se fait pour mire et aussi le con est bien comme toujours ce n'est pas mon bouquin préféré dans l'œuvre de Conan Doyle mais ce mais mais c'est pas mal et j'aimerais mais c'est pas mal et j'aimerais lire plus dans la série c'est pas un problème si tu savoir la solution quand tu liras pour améliorer votre connaissance de une langue étrangère. Au moins, je me dis c'est la vérité et je ne suis pas ouf. Alright. <laughs> Let me know if that made any sense to you below. And uh, now I am reading Just Kids by Patti Smith. And it's really good actually, very good. There will be a full review of this coming soon. It's a memoir of her and her life with Robert Mapplethorpe, I think his name was. Or maybe Maplethorpe. You know, she's poeting, he was arting. And now she's kind of famous as a musician, I guess, you know? But it's kind of about her early days, so it's kind of a memoir of her, of young love, really. That's why it's just kids, they were just kids, you know? And Robert's dead now as well, so that's very sad. It says here on the back, Just Kids begins as a love story and ends as an elegy. It serves as a salute to New York City during the late 60s and 70s, and to its rich and poor, its hustlers and hellions. A true fable, it is a portrait of two young artists' ascent, a prelude to fame. What are you doing, Kat? Hello. Did you want to come and say hello, did you? Bonsoir, Sha. Comment allez-vous? Actually, no, we use informal with you. Comment va tu? Comment ça va, mon chat sauvage? Oui. So anyway, that seems like a good place to end this week's vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. When we biggie? Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.